This episode of Texilla is brought to you by Domain.com. We were fired up to see AMD's Mantle demos back at CES. Mantle promises to give games more direct control over the GPU, hopefully giving users increased performance. EA's baked Mantle into Battlefield 4, and last week AMD delivered beta support for Mantle in the Catalyst 14.1 beta driver. PC Pro's Ryan Shrout has been benchmarking the combo, and the results are mixed. Welcome back, Ryan. Hi, how are you? I'm full of mirth and good cheer. I am semi-excited about Mantle at this point. How, how did the benchmarks work out? It seems like a pretty good response, I think, as it stands now. Um, you know, the, the benchmarks turned out to be fairly interesting. The, the complicated part for testing Mantle is that uh, there are, it literally wants you to test every processor with every GPU available, right, to get a good idea of how it scales across both, both of those kind of axes of, of performance. And the... Um, you know, you, you mentioned in the intro here that it was the, the goal of Mantle is to give you more direct control of the GPU. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's mostly correct, but what they're really trying to do is kind of get rid of software overhead um, that APIs like DirectX have injected into the ecosystem, right? So if you look at how consoles are programmed, um, those developers have very, very low level access to the GPU and the CPU on those platforms. And they can do that because they're very static. Uh, there's, there's no changes, right? But if right. you look at something like DirectX, it has to compensate for GPUs that were built five years ago or more, as well as preparing for GPUs that are not yet released. And because of that kind of software overhead, there is some performance um, deltas that occur, some performance deficits that occur uh, when gaming on Windows PCs. Well, should we talk about the best case scenario or the worst case scenario? Uh, well, let's start with the the worst case scenario. End on a high note, I guess. The <laughs> uh, so the the Mantle API as it is as it exists today with Battlefield 4 and the Catalyst 14.1 driver really um, focuses on. CPU performance, right? If you have right. a low performing CPU, that's where you're going to see the better, uh, the better scaling uh, across the game. So if you have a high end processor, maybe you're somebody that upgrades your platform fairly frequently, you have a Haswell uh, quad core or quad core plus hyper threading, something like that, or maybe you even have a Sandy Bridge E or an Ivy Bridge E setup. Um, then your scaling with Mantle is going to be very, very minimal, on the order of 0 to 10%, depending Ow. on where you're at in the game, right? And that's just because the processor has enough performance overhead to kind of make up for any of that overhead that DirectX 11 uh, would artificially insert into the game engine, right? So even if you have um, a 290X, you know, the highest flagship, card from AMD and you pair that with a 4770K or a 4960X or something like that, one of those high-end Intel processors, mm -hmm. uh, you're really not going to see a whole lot of improvement. You'll see some in some places, but not, not a whole lot. What about uh, the exact opposite and highly unlikely scenario? What if I have a really fast GPU and a really lagging processor, an older, slower, you know, let's say I paired up a five-year-old Core i3 with a 290X. You'd start to see some benefits there, and um, in our testing, we actually used an AMD APU, which, uh, while providing good integrated graphics, tends to have very poor single-threaded x86 performance, um, and scaling, in some instances there, ranged up into the 30% range. Whoa. Uh, in particular, when you're talking about uh, multiplayer matches, where you're talking 64 gamers all running at the same time on the same map, those tend to be very CPU heavy uh, on just on that compute resource, keeping track of all that stuff that's going on at the same time. And those are the instances where we saw the biggest scaling. So this is also useful for if you're uh, a PC gamer that has continued to upgrade your GPU, obviously mm -hmm. you have to have stayed in the AMD ecosystem, but maybe you have like a Core 2 quad processor still, right? A lot of people that write in and talk to us still have those CPUs and they're always wondering, should they upgrade the processor or the GPU? If you have one of those platforms and you have a 290, 290X, 280X, something like that, then you're going to see the benefit of the Mantle API, at least for this one game for right now. So basically, fast processor, little to no benefit from Mantle. Slow processor and a fast GPU, a whole bunch of benefit from Mantle. What if I have a mediocre GPU and a mediocre processor? Uh, you'll see. You'll see. I think in the same range of maybe five to fifteen percent. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it depends on what your specific hardware is. The problem is, is you have to have enough GPU performance that the game is not shader bound, right? So the individual shader processors on the GPU, if they are not your bottleneck, then 
the CPU can can be affected, and thus the Mantle API can can help some. Though, if you, as most of us know, right. gaming performance is almost always bound by the graphics card. So it's it's you're going to see small gains, I think, as it stands now. But AMD has said they're working with. Uh, obviously, Dice, who's their major partner with Mantle, uh, and obviously internally uh, just on the Mantle libraries mm -hmm. themselves to try to expand that performance benefit a little bit further. And I think it's just turning out to be a little bit more difficult than they had kind of expected when they revealed Mantle to everybody in September. So Mantle, though, does it have to be, it, can it function at the driver level or do the, uh, the developers actually have to integrate this into the game or the game engine? You have to you have to write your game engine to support Mantle, wow. uh, and you know it's that's that's going to be a tough sell for a lot of people. You look at AMD has done a good job though. If you look at Dice, mm -hmm. they've implemented it into Frostbite, and Frostbite is one of the fundamental engines for EA's collection of games going forward. Right, so um, that that was a pretty big win for them. What they need to do now is. It improve performance, improve stability and reliability with Mantle, with Battlefield 4. This is their flagship chance to kind of prove that Mantle can be a force in the industry. And it's obviously something they need to do if they want to, you know, start taking back some of that market share from NVIDIA and really showcase the PC as a flagship platform. So 10 to 15 percent, probably a bigger deal than, than you and I might be making it sound right now. But, you know, if we're looking at, you know, spotty support across different games, depending on if the game engine integrates it, I mean, you know, do we expect much more of a gain? Because Catalyst 14.1 drivers are beta right now. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we, we've seen some ridiculous gains in the past when drivers are finished. Do you expect any kind of performance boost? But it just sounds like the architecture is not going to allow it. I, I think we'll see some more performance benefits as, you know, the mantle drivers are updated, so 14.2 and 3 and onward. Um, but I think I think the biggest improvement will come in feature and stability improvement. Mm -hmm. Like right now, Crossfire isn't supported very well uh, in Battlefield 4, which is kind of a letdown. Um, there, there's still some, it, the, the Mantle version of Battlefield 4 crashes a little bit more often than the DirectX 11 version does. And those <laughs> types of things need to be ironed out uh, in order for people to really take it seriously. I don't think Mantle as it stands today is a feature that you should be purchasing a graphics card based on that that one specific thing i think it's part of the story um, but considering we're talking about a single game um, that has limited performance differences depending on what your processor is that they need to prove uh the, they need to prove that it's a little bit more valuable than that to really get me to buy on that yes you should be buying uh, radeon r9 series graphics cards because mantle is the the game changer that they want it to be Thank you so much, Ryan. Anything exciting coming up on PC Per, except, of course, the R7 250X benchmarking roundup, I'm sure, is in the near future? We're working on some of that. There are, there are actually quite a few um, mid-range GPUs that are going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks that are going to shake up that sub-$200 uh, GPU purchasing level, which, despite all of our talk about the high-end parts, <laughs> is still where the majority of people are actually buying cards. Including me. Ryan, we'll hope to have you back on to talk about some of those new cards in the near future. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, PCPer.com is the place to find some of the best benchmarking of GPUs, CPUs, and other devices in the planet. Please head over there today. Ryan, thanks again. Hey, we've got tons of great stuff coming out this week on all the shows that we work on. For the photographers out there, we built a light tent on Die Tryon. You can find that at youtube.com slash Die Tryon or dietryon.com. Shannon's got a review of the LG Flex. That's going to come up on youtube.com slash techzilla. Robert Heron and I are getting our home theater geek on at HD Nation, hdnation.tv, and keep an eye out for all of our content, and please subscribe to get them right in your inbox, whether you're on the website or on YouTube. If you haven't yet, you should really try out Domain.com. It is one-stop shopping for all your domain name and web hosting needs. These guys are awesome. Domain.com simple search quickly shows you available domain names and web hosting options. It makes it easy to select the domain extension and hosting plan that's right for you. An easy checkout smooths the process, erases the hassle, and keeps you from saying, wait a minute, how does this thing work? Because they love you so much, the Domain.com crew is hooking you up. At checkout, use the coupon code TECHZILLA. You'll get 20% off your purchase. That is an amazing offer. We want to thank Domain.com for sponsoring Techzilla and use Techzilla at checkout for 20% off your purchase.